My name's Brick. Uh, I'm a political cartoonist, a comic artist, uh, a writer and uh, a dog walk walker. My contribution is based on this book, uh, The Long Walk, which is uh, subtitled The True Story of a Trek to Freedom by Slavomir Rawich, which is I think how you pronounce the name. And I came across this book um, when I was nine years old and it has since many decades on become a controversial book as to whether or not this is a true story and while my contribution will touch on that I'm not actually prepared to slag anybody off in this because the family of this gentleman they still live in Nottingham um, and the greater family as well. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be telling a personal story about how I came across this book when I was nine years old and I'd just been put under house arrest in a in my boarding school because I had attempted to run away and I did a 20 mile journey which was a long walk so when I saw this on the spine in the school library I thought aha I want to read this and an awful lot of stuff jumped off from this book given that it's a nine-year-old who's reading this. Having decided that I'm going to work on this book the question is how am I going to work on it and you walk up and down for months on end until you finally find a way into it which in my case is a personal story so then you'll end up writing in pencil at every moment that you've got ideas bits of script etc etc until eventually you land up with a typed script from the typed script you go to i don't know if you can see those but very quick little thumbnails which give you an idea of how a page might break down. From the little thumbnails you move on to the bigger full scale, the actual, this is actually the size of the finished thing, the full scale thumbnails and these give you an idea of where you're going when it comes to doing the final artwork. Now I'm a bit of a traditionalist, I still use pens I still use paint brushes, paint brush pens and all that sort of stuff, um, you know, things like that. Um, and I like starting with the white sheet of paper, but knowing where I'm going, unlike Leonardo da Vinci. Um, and from my roughs, I can plan out my page, it's scaled up, I go to work on it, I actually hand draw the whole thing. I then scan it into the computer, um, do all kinds of cleanings up and adding blocks of black and colour or whatever else is going on. And then um, I digitally, digitally add the uh, dialogue and one thing or another, uh, all the lettering in other words. Normally I would hand letter but I'm learning, at my age I'm still learning. Uh, so that's the process. In terms of my style, I'm self-taught. Uh, I didn't go through an illustration course or anything like that. Um, meanwhile, parallel with this, you've got somebody who's obsessed with watching Walt Disney films, animation films, and wishing I could draw like that. Um, but the style that I've developed over decades is just what comes out of me. And it's highly detailed. Um, it makes uses, use of traditional media, paint brushes, pens, and all the rest of it. Um, and it's my particular style. What's strange is when you get to my age, you find that people are copying your style. My style's very European. And I think that's probably because um, I'm actually half Austrian. So if you look at um, French cartooning, 
I, I cartoon accidentally very similar to that. Not at all like an English cartoonist. But in terms of the materials that you use, you can see here what using the brush does for the feel of the character. Um, here we have other brushes. There are probably about five or six different pens and brushes at work here. And it is very precise. I wish it wasn't. I'd, I'd love to be one of those wonderful artists and cartoonists who just sort of throw their arm around and they produce something wonderful. For me, it's just painstaking, but I love it. And as you work on these things, the world can go lose itself. You know, it's like you, you just totally get sucked into a character like that. I know who this character is and I want you to feel this pain. And most of that, I like black and white more than I like colour. Um, I, I think it was Orson Welles who said that the best coloured movies are in fact in black and white. And I kind of feel that about cartooning, uh, about comic books. But some of that is because I'm colour blind. So um, it's easier for me. Libraries are not just um, repositories of rows and rows of books. They are that, but they're also a journey. The, the mere fact of walking into a library and being assailed by all these spines, um, it's a kind of, it's an experience. It, it's a sensory experience, much more so than doing something like research on the computer. So as a result of this and the story that I will be telling, I got to write to travel books and these books could not have been done on the internet they needed me to go into libraries not least a library in america um, not least local libraries that have got materials in their vaults particularly that are not online so the idea that the resource of the internet is you know taking libraries making libraries redundant is is Hokum. If you look at my shelves, I have lots and lots of reference books, if you like, but also beautiful books because they're cartoon books, they're comic books, and those are really beautiful books. And you could say, well, you could see those images online. Well, obviously, you can't see them all online, but also it's that experience of opening the book, and maybe a bit of serendipity comes in, and you start flicking. And then you pursue a little journey because something stimulated your mind and you've gone off and you picked up another book and then you're coming back to what you're really trying to find. So because the computer is currently just this stuff that is going straight out of it, you can't get that layering. At present, no doubt you will be able to eventually and we'll have screens on walls, the size of walls. But at present, you can't get that layering. So for me, these books and DVDs, I'm a big collector of DVDs and videos because obviously I deal with imagery. Um, this is my mind. 